EDIHs, a European network for increasing blockchain and AI activities. Thank you very much, and uh, th thanks for the invitation. Um, in 10 minutes, I would like to talk about um, a European Union initiative uh, which is focusing on uh, how can help to the digitalization process in, in a small and medium enterprise. So the basic question is, what if you would like to run a blockchain business or a crypto-based business, uh, what can you do? So who are you going to call? This is the question. I'm not asking you who are you going to call. <laughs> no, no, the Ghostbusters. So there's a network in the European Union uh, which is uh, almost two years old. And there's, there could be a big perspective in it. And I would like to demonstrate to you that how this is working and how to find any kind of help in your country. So first question is, what, what, what is EDIC, which is a, an acronym? Uh, each year, the European Union making uh, an index focusing on how big is the digitalization level in each country. Here's uh, a, a two years old um, result, and you can see that uh, each country has different uh, results. For example, Hungary is always lacking behind. But comparing to other countries or other regions, like if you compare European Union to the United States, it is much, much behind. So that's why and the Commission, the European Commission, wanted to, to help on this process. And for that, and they set up this network because the main problem is that all the digitalization level of these companies and also for public organization, I, I know that in Hungary it's horrible if you are talking about uh, uh, public organization, are very low. So this network uh, is funded by the European Union and this is like, as, as it says, it, it's a hub where you can collect any kind of information and where you can receive any kind of help in different kind of topics, uh, which I will show you. And basically, these projects, because it's, it's a project, and each country has several kind of um, uh, topics and projects. It's, it's a, a three-year-old project. And later on, maybe it will continue. Um, and it is partially financed by the European Union and partially from the member states itself. So it was like a two-level selection method. First, uh, lev and first level, each nation, each member state has already find, has, uh, choose all, all the possible partnerships. And then the European Union choose another type of selection method. And mainly the, the target aud audience, as I said before, small and medium enterprises and public organizations. And the question is, what can help, in what topic can help uh, an EDIC, a European Digital Innovation Hub? Uh, first, training. Uh, they can organize different kind of uh, trainings. Also, they can offer consulting services uh, for um, any kind of uh, topics and any kind of uh, phase of your companies. They can find to find financing because it's always a big question. If you set up a company or run a company, you are always looking for financing. And these uh, hubs can help you to how to develop your company in order to have a better financing. And also, uh, it can help you test your idea or it can help you test your product. And what is very important, it's free. It's totally free. So you can ask for any kind of help uh, without any extra charge. What is a, a general process of it? First, you need to choose uh, your, uh, your hub, which is in your country. And you need to choose what kind of topic. In what kind of topic do you need any kind of help? The next, you need to register on that hub. 
after you need to have a discussion with the hub in order to have to to figure it out what kind of hand, uh, what kind of help do you need exactly after that you need to have a contract this is the only thing what you need to do so it's free but you need to have such a, an effort to make a contract with the the hub and then uh, and then you are able to have uh, the service itself. So this is like a general uh, process of it. And let's see now how this EDIC network work is working on, on the European Union level. There's a website, a special website, where you can check whether uh, you have uh, an EDIC in your uh, country. So you can search for that. And also you can search for uh, different kind of areas, different kind of topics. So altogether, there are 151 edicts, and there are other kind of um, uh, hubs also. But this 151 is uh, financed in um, in this process. So I made a selection, and I'm focusing on AI and DLT. There are altogether uh, uh, like um, 80, no, 100 uh, somehow uh, edicts, and you, you can see on the map that where you can find them. And I make a more focus side on just DLT. And there are 40 edicts in, in, the, in the European Union. So you can choose them, and you can ask special information and, and special help from them. And uh, just in um, some words, I am because we are in Hungary, I'm going to talk about what's happening in Hungary in, in, in the hubs. Uh, we have five hubs. Um, you can see here. We have a HPC, which is a higher performance computing uh, edic. We have a data focusing edic. We have digital tech edic, which is our edic. Uh, I'm going to talk about deeper a little bit of this. We have AI focusing edic and an agricultural hub as well. So these are the five we have, what we have in Hungary at the moment. And in just some words about our, uh, our hub, uh, we have special focus areas. We are focusing on mainly cybersecurity, and, uh, fintech, education technology, blockchain, and of course, as I said before, business and financial development as well. We, there's a big consortia uh, where we have one EU-funded uh, entity. We have four university in it. Uh, we have one innovation agency, three NGO, and one governmental body. So you can see that it's it's very big this consortium and, and very have a deeper knowledge and they have and we have a deeper knowledge in different kind of aspects. And if we are focusing on blockchain, what kind of services you can have? First, uh, technology and business focusing uh, services, which means that if you have such an idea or if you are going to run a blockchain technology, you can have special deeply uh, available knowledge from the universities. They are very good at it, Hyperledger and uh, Ethereum as well. And uh, also, they can have you to, to make a service from the scratch. And from our side, which is making uh, our association, is the tokenization process. We had a big experience in uh, how it's, it's possible to, to issue a token, how the tokenization process is, what the key point to, to, set, to set up a, a a token issuing or any kind of uh, process related with the uh, token. And also, we, I, I wrote it in the last, but I think this is the most important. Uh, we, have, we know that how we need to focus or how you need to focus on regulation. It's always a key point that uh, if you are s setting up a special business, you always look, need to look for what kind of regulation, what is your regulation framework. Uh, of it. We have a quite good experience on that. Don't forget that these networks, these hubs can cooperate. So if you are going to, to use one of the hubs in the, in the European Union or in your country, but they are not dealing with blockchain, we can help uh, them as well. They need to ask them, we need to, uh, they need to ask us to, to participate. So these hubs even able to, to cooperate. If you have any kind of question, I'm here to, to answer the questions. And also, you can 
uh, see our website and also my email is over there. So thank you very much.